It's not every day you go out for a walk with a dog and come back with a multi-million idea. But this is our story today. The story of the invention of Velcro. One day in 1941, a Swiss electrical engineer named Georges de Mestral went for a walk in the mountains with his dog, as he often did. Upon returning home, he paid more attention to an activity that he did, and that he did not like very much. Remove trapped Arctium seeds from the dog and its clothing. Arctium is a plant native to Europe and Asia, but can be found in other parts of the world, and which is also known as burdock or big burr. On that specific day, he stopped to think about the ability of that seed to adhere to his clothes and the dog's fur, and he decided to examine one more closely. It was then that he noticed that the seeds had little hooks that caught in the threads of clothing and fur, and that this was an interesting fastening system to be replicated in a product that could stick and release without losing grip. It took 14 years of research to come up with a functional idea that would receive the first patent in 1955. A period of research in which George tested numerous fabrics for the soft part of the Velcro where the ties are located, and countless materials to produce the hardest part where the hooks are. In the soft part, for example, he even tested cotton, which was discarded because it showed little resistance after several openings. After a lot of research, he arrived at nylon as being the right material for the invention, which needed to be heat treated to have the right characteristics. Mass manufacturing the hooks was another difficult task because up until that point, he had been making the hooks by hand. It took a long time before he managed to design a type of loom with a very sharp blade, which cut through the nylon loops at just the right angle to create the hooks. The next steps were to define the ideal size of loops and hooks and the ideal number of hooks per area. The result came with the filing of the first patents in 1951 in Switzerland and 1952 in other countries an invention that was baptized with the name of Velcro, a combination of the French words velours, which means velvet, and crochet, which means hook. And contrary to what many think, the idea of Velcro is that it doesn't break the ties every time the two parts are taken off. This ends up happening over time, but the idea is that the hook, which is made of a flexible material like nylon, connects to the loop and then stretches until it disengages. A very creative invention that was thought to be used as a substitute for the zipper, but that didn't please the fashion industry because it was an ugly accessory and because they had just given in to another very innovative invention at the time, the zipper. Sales started to take off in the 1960s when NASA started using Velcro on space missions. He was ideal for quickly fixing things to the ship's walls, preventing them from floating, but it was also used in securing cables, material collection bags, and countless other astronaut accessories. Today, Velcro is used in so many things that I don't even need to talk about it here. But the cool thing about this story is realizing how many good ideas are available in nature. Just look at them. Thank you for your company, and until next time!